I'm Shay, and in this video, I touch grass and get some ass. Ready? Rolling. I love nature. I was lucky enough to be raised in a rural area that has forest around for miles, so a lot of my childhood was spent running around outside with dirty and skint up knees. My favorite thing was to play by the creek and gather rocks. I brought home pocketfuls and bucketfuls with every single trip. But I also just loved playing with grass, sticks, leaves, everything around me. The possibilities were endless. Then, I got older, and technology came in. I was sucked into the world of my iPhone 3 and YouTube. Fast forward to this year, almost two decades later. We had one of the first warm days in winter that are always a sign of spring on its way. I took the opportunity to get outside with some fresh air and sunshine. And suddenly, with my phone not in my hand, I found myself playing with pine needles and sticks, building forts and little playthings. And I realized, I really freaking miss this. I miss playing in the dirt. I miss not knowing iPhones even existed. I miss the purely innocent rush of imagination, of playing. Nature was always my biggest playground, and I left it behind. Look how pretty blue the sky is, though. It, like, stormed so hard last night, and now it's just this pretty, solid blue. I'm not gonna punish myself about it. Life happened, I had school, I moved away for a while. But, I believe you're never too old to play. You only get old when you stop playing. That feeling I had as a kid being in nature, playing, the joy that gave me, the inspiration, the creativity, I want to get back to that. Over the years, I started getting back outside more, because I do love it. And frankly, it's kind of unavoidable. I live here. But I did more work around the house and the barn outside, helping my parents. I try to soak in the sunshine with a good book, and I often walk outside for exercise as part of my workout routine. My boyfriend, who has been on many FaceTime calls with me while I'm outside, has always called me a plant because I always just end up closing my eyes and facing the sun, looking up at it, like a plant. There is nothing that makes me happier than fresh air and sunshine. It always has, particularly sitting down at the creek searching for rocks. So much so that whenever I feel overwhelmed in life, especially in the past few years, I go down to the creek and sit on a big rock for a while. It always helps calm me down and focus on something else for a while. But I still haven't been playing, and I want to change that. So I'm getting back out there, just to play, just to exist, and to explore. This video is to document that, and hopefully inspires you to get out into nature if you're able. At the very least, I hope these clips maybe help you relax. Look at these cool rocks that I found. There's this one that looks like a potato, but then when you turn it, it's flat. That's pretty sick. Then I found this guy who was just pretty sick on his own. I don't know. Good round boy. We like a good round boy. Okay. I'm going to go put them back. Also, that guy's pretty cool.
Can I offer you a nice rock in this trying time? Look at that. Oh, owie. Okay, but look at this amazing fossil that I found. Look at that. Like, fully preserved, whatever. Focus. iPhone, for once in your life. Look at how sick that is. Isn't that amazing? I'm sorry, I'm like nerding out. This was like right in front of me. Here, this is a much better angle. I don't know if you can hear me, probably not because of the water, but this is just sitting right here. And look at it. That's so freaking cool. Oh, you're coming home with me. I love finding all kinds of fossils like this down here because this is a road. And to make this road, they basically dynamited that hill. Like, that all used to be hill. And then to flatten out that road, they dynamited that and blew the rocks down here because this used to be like a road uh, this used to be like a train track actually but then they flooded it they diverted a natural spring and sent it this way and then built the road whenever the uh, railroad went out of commission so i have grown up finding like hundreds of fossils like this but it never ceases to amaze me whenever i do find them This is why I grew up playing with rocks. And I still play with rocks. Another prime example. Just found this little guy. Look. Little shell fossil right there. Isn't that sweet? You're coming home too. Oh, goodbye, Leaf. What are you? What are you? What are those? It's like a... A geode? To be honest, it kind of looks like fossilized poop. another one and another one but wait wait what's cool about this guy i bet there's something like look let's see dude someone lost they flippers unless that's another shell 
Either way. Very cool. I kind of hope one of them thinks I'm dead and comes down here to get me. Do you think they will? Do you think that'll work? I guess waving at them would make them think I'm dead. Yeah. This is big brain time. Forget that I wave. Come join me, mother. It's a tongue. See? Yeah. Yeah. Or it's a hash brown. Like a McDonald's hash brown. Dude, this lighting. It's killing my vibe, bro. Yeah, there we go. Look. It's like a McDonald's hash brown. Like. Or, you know, just a tongue, like, yeah. You know, like, in that episode of Spongebob where he has to, like, stick his tongue out and he's like, yeah, like, the hot sauce, like, yeah. Or I guess it could be, like, a tombstone. R.I.P. to them, but I do be different. Yeah. New profile picture. Who dis? I'm not gonna lie to you, while I was laying on the ground- What is that behind me? Is that my own house? I was confused by the side of my own house. I'm not gonna lie to you, while I was laying here, in the nice- in the nice dry grass, nice winter grass, in the warm sun, there were cars driving by, and I had a thought of like, oh god, one of the, what if one of them calls the cops? And they're like, there's a, uh, unalive body, like, laying on the ground by this creek, like, no, I'm just chillin', I'm vibin'. If I want to, you know, uh, roleplay decomposing as my corporeal form, that is my right. You know? Like, that's my right. That is my God-given, world-given, this something-given right. I give it to myself. I, I give it to myself. If I want to decompose, if I want to fantasize, is I'm roleplaying for the future. I'm, uh, method acting for the role of a lifetime. I guess not lifetime. I'm method acting for the role of my, uh, un-lifetime. The sun feels nice, though.
thanks for watching. If you haven't heard it from anybody else, I love you. Love and peace. My back pocket is full too. Oh no.